Okay, this morning we have another special speaker to come and talk to you. This gentleman has been here before, always entertaining, always has lots of words of wisdom, and I know you will enjoy it just like you have in the past. Please listen intently. You will get some things out of the, the things that Mr. Sam McCullough, who is a youth leader here in town, has to talk to you about. So give a big round of applause for Sam McCullough. So there might be some things going on inside your world that you would never show on the outside world, but I want to get to your inside world. And so if today you just hear some of the things I'm saying, and maybe you take it home with you, I believe you can change your life forever. And so what I want you to do, do any of you have like a pen and paper? Anybody have that? Yeah, you're supposed to have that at school, right? That's awesome. Great. Fantastic. Forget about what I just said. But listen. 
Middle school. Man, I remember whenever I got into sixth grade in middle school. And middle school, the first memory I have of middle school, uh, I had spent the entire summer uh, eating Fritos and playing PlayStation 2 at the time, which shows how old I am. But all summer playing playing video games, and I was really skinny in elementary school, okay? Like, I had a six pack, I was looking fresh. But I remember walking in to middle school, my best friend, hadn't seen him all summer long. His name was Justin Thompson. Walked up to him. And I'm, I'm just kind of walking up, and I didn't realize it, but apparently uh, my lower region had um, become festively plump, if you will, uh, due to all the Fritos that I had eaten. So I come, kind of walking into middle school, not really knowing, and my friend walks up to me. This is the first thing he says. This is my, this is my intro to being a middle schooler. I was like, I'm pumped going to a new school, middle school, what's up, bring it on. And I walk in, and my friend, literally, first thing I hear from my friend, he walks up and he goes, he pokes my stomach. Well, who touches somebody's stomach? He touches, he pokes my stomach, and it's like, and he's like, what's up, dope boy? And I was like, all right then. And so like, I walked away, and he literally, then he goes on and he says, does it look like there's cottage cheese on your stomach? And I was like, I don't like middle school. And so that was my intro to middle school. The funny thing is, I'm an adult now, so you go into middle school, I got a little chunky, and then when you become an adult, you start getting chunky again. It's awesome, it's great. You have a lot to look forward to. But I want to share with you guys something. Middle school was a bit of a challenge for me because I was so desperate to fit in. And I, all I wanted to do was to fit in with people. And, and it never happened. No matter what I did and no matter how much I strived and how much I tried, I could never fit in. And again, some of you here, I would venture to say the majority of you here, deal with little insecurities and challenges in your life and you act like everything's okay, but inside you, you don't really feel that okay. And I want to encourage you with this because as I, as I grew up, Man, I learned to apply some principles in my life that, that changed my life forever. Uh, I went from being so shy and so intimidated to just being comfortable with who I am. Because I, as I stand up here, right, right here on this platform right now, it's, it's very liberating for me to say this. It, it might come off a little offensive, I don't mean it this way. I literally don't care what you think about me. Genuinely, like I don't. Because I, ultimately I have an amazing family that loves me. I have great friends that, I, that care about me. And so I can stand up here very comfortable and say, like, some of you are whispering things about me even now as we speak. I don't care. Like, it's cool. And what I want to talk to you about, what I want to encourage you about, as a middle school student right now, whether you're in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade, and maybe some of you adults need to hear this, I want to share with you, we're in 2018, y'all ready? New year, new year, what's up? So 2018, I want to talk... 2019, don't be here, it's not quite here, bro. But 2018, I want to talk to you about this. Listen to me. I'm going to share just a few minutes or something. How many of y'all are learning some hard stuff in school right now? Let's be honest. Some of you are like, well, it's not hard. I would not have gotten along with you well. But y'all, how many of you are learning something right now that is just tough? You're like, this is hard. Here's the great thing. Listen up. What I'm going to share with you right now, shh. What I'm going to share with you right now is extremely simple, super simple, but if you apply it to your life, even just one of these, listen to me, if you apply any of these five principles to your life, I believe they'll change your life forever, if you choose to apply these. So I can share these with you, and then go in one ear and out the other, or you can take some of this to heart, and you can literally walk out of these doors a different person to that. But it's up to you. So I want to share five keys. It's really simple. Just five simple keys to winning in 2018. Five simple keys to winning in 2018. I don't know about you. I hate losing. Does anybody hate losing? Like, does anybody? Yeah, okay, great. Talking to the right crowd. So listen to this. This is the first thought. It's really simple. Take a mental note since you don't have pens and paper. So the first thought is this. Listen, these are things to stop doing and to start doing. So some of us have some habits in our lives that we need to stop doing. Everybody say stop. stop. Say it like me. Say stop. Say some passion. Stop. Say it with some like be united in this. Say stop. stop. Right, so there's some things that we need to stop doing. 
like talking. And there's some things that we need to start doing. So this is the first one. First thing to winning in 2018, we need to stop comparing yourself and start accepting yourself. Listen to me. Stop comparing yourself and start accepting yourself. If there's one thing I can tell teenagers, if you said, hey, there's one thing, one piece of advice you would want to give a young person, it'd be to quit comparing yourself to other people. Here's the reality. I, I, this is like really deep, okay? I don't know if you're going to get this or not. This is super deep. I just, I might go over your head. You can never be somebody else. You'll always be you. That's all there is to it. That wasn't deep. In case you didn't catch the sarcasm there. You can never be somebody else. You will only be you the rest of your life. And here's what I want to challenge you. The sooner that you can get a hold of that and embrace it, the faster you can start living. Because when you accept just I am me, I'm who I am, listen to me, and you quit comparing yourself to other people's lives, man, you start to win. Some of us spend our entire lives, some of you guys, I, I, I feel bad for you because all of you have grown up with social media in your life. Every single one of you have grown up with this. And what we do is we compare our lives to somebody else's highlight reel. Nobody posts ugly pictures of themselves. Like, here's, here's the reality. People will be like, they'll post a picture in the morning, and they'll post, like, they'll take, like, 86 pictures of the same thing. Like, and then what they do, after they've already done their hair, like, their hair's all fresh, and they're looking fine, and they're like, yeah. And then they put, like, hashtag crazy hair, don't care. And like a million filters on it, and then somebody else is like, oh my gosh, why do they look so pretty right when they wake up? They didn't just wake up. They've been up for like 48 hours taking pictures and putting filters on it. But we love to compare our lives to that. Think about movie stars. They have people that get paid millions of dollars to make sure their pictures on Instagram look great. And what I want to encourage you with today is to stop comparing yourself to other people and start accepting yourself. Hey, look. You make a terrible somebody else. You make a fantastic you. Only until you start being the best you you can be when you start winning. So be encouraged. Stop, stop comparing yourself. Start accepting yourself. The second thing is this. Stop. This is, this is huge. Stop bashing others. Start loving others. Stop bashing others. Listen to me. Stop, stop bashing others. Start loving others. I'm going to be honest, I remember one time when I was a, I was actually a freshman in high school, but it's all the same thing. I was a freshman in high school, I was in, I was in math class, and I was just hanging out, just talking to a friend, and just chatting, like, just like you would in class, well, not in class, anyways, but just, just chatting, and this girl, I will never forget, her name was Hannah, she turns around in the middle of class, for no reason, turns around and stares at me right into my soul. Like, you ever had somebody just stare into your soul? Like, it's not, they didn't just look in your eyes. They're like, and you're like, it's just like, wow, how'd you do that? It was like Jedi stuff. Look at me right in the face. Listen, out of nowhere. I'm like new at the school, trying to like meet people. I was still a little chunky, you know, I was a little insecure still. Looks at me right in the face and she's like, I don't like you. And I, what do you say to that? I looked right back at her and I was like, well, I don't like you either. So, and then she just turned back around her ponytail like flipped 18 times, she turned around and I was like, man, this place is mean. And as much as I try to like play that off, clearly it's like 20 years later and I'm still talking about it. What I want to encourage you with is this, your words matter. What you say to people actually matters. You, listen to me. I, you need to hear this right now. This is simple stuff. But hopefully you can hear it from somebody besides a teacher or a principal or a coach, somebody from a little bit outside your normal world to stand up here and say this. And this is really practical. You can literally build or destroy somebody else's life with the words that you speak. Every single one of you in here have influence and you're a leader in some capacity. And your words have influence on other people's lives. And what I want to encourage you 
Maybe look around our world right now. We need less slamming, bashing, making fun of, jabbing at people, and more just loving people. Listen to me. People need love. People need to be encouraged. So I want to challenge you. Again, stop bashing people. Start loving people. Hey, the third one is this. This is huge. This is probably my favorite. Hey, love you too. Thank you. So, oh, you were talking. Give, give her a hand. I just got some coffee. You rock. Central, what's up? Hey, the third one. I'm almost finished here. The third one is this. Listen. Listen up. Stop making excuses. Start making changes. Stop making excuses. Start making changes. Listen to this. This is a quote from a guy that I just love. It says this. You can either make excuses or make progress, but you can't have both. You can either make excuses or have progress in your life, but you can't have both. Listen to me. I grew up in a pretty rough childhood. Uh, my siblings, I had two siblings that were, were felons, had a lot of drugs, and I, I grew up in a rough home. And I, I had an opportunity. I've had a lot of rough stuff happen in my family and my life. Lost a lot of loved ones at an early age. And I had, I had a choice I could make. You see, because of the things that happened in my life, I could have easily went down a certain direction. And people, people would have just said, well, man, Sam had it pretty rough. And uh, I get why he made those choices. And man, it's just tough. I could have done that. Or I could have, I, I, for me, I chose, no, I'm not going to make I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not going to blame other people for poor decisions. I'm going to own a mistake I make, and I'm going to make some changes in my life. And for some of you right now, listen to me, you need to hear this. You've spent a lot of your life making excuses and pointing, well, my brother did this, well, my mom did that, well, they said this about me when I was young. Listen to me. You have a choice you can make today to not make excuses anymore. To say, man, I'm done. I'm done blaming other people for decisions I've made. Man, I was in so much trouble in middle school and high school and elementary school. Basically, the second I got in school, I was always in the office, and I was always blaming somebody else for my mistakes. And the second I started owning the decisions I made and started making changes, man, that's when I got better. I want to encourage you guys: stop making excuses, start making changes. The fourth one is this. I've got one more after this. <laughs> This is also, these are all like for me. So I'm talking to myself. Hopefully you get something out of this. Stop reacting. Start thinking. As a, as a middle schooler, stop reacting. Start thinking. The other day, well, I won't say the other day. I'm going to act like this was 10 years ago. But the truth is, it was like a week ago. I was cooking. Anybody like cooking in the house? Probably not. I was cooking. And um, I was not using my brain whilst I was cooking. And... I have a fire burner, like it's a, you know, like torch. And so I was not thinking one of my pans, the handle was over fire the entire time I was cooking something else. So I was in a hurry and I was like trying to be Iron Chef and I was like yelling at people that weren't even in the room, like, hey, I need eggs. And it's just me by myself and I'm cooking really fast and stuff's flying everywhere. And I am in a hurry. So I reach over to grab the pan. Yeah, that had been over fire for like 28,000 minutes. And I just full on, with metal, metal handle, grabbed the entire handle. And my, actually, my wife was in the room. And you just hear this like, it was not eggs or butter, it was Sam. My hand was literally like molten lava on this pan. And it was like, I don't know why. It's like those cartoons when they like plug something in, they're just like hold on to it for like 10 minutes. Just, and I was just, I just grabbed that thing and it was, oh, it was so hot. It like melted all of my fingertips, right? It was actually this hand. Burnt my thumb, my, my index finger, my middle finger, just like fried it, like full on fried it. There was no, there wasn't even butter there to help like coat it. It was just, and when that happened, I'm talking about stop reacting, start thinking. When that happened, I was like to alleviate pain. I don't know why guys do this. I don't, I've never seen a girl do this. I'm not saying they don't. But I go, I literally was like, oh, and I punched the counter really hard. Like, is any guy, any guy can relate to me. For some reason, it's like, 
I just hurt this hand. I'm going to kick this. And you're like, oh, my toe is broken. And my head, head butt this now. It's just like, ah, take me to the doctor. And so I, 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 I don't know what I was doing. I grabbed this, burn my hand, and I run over and I punch this thing like three times. It's like, oh! And, and then I like, I look at my wife, and she doesn't even feel bad for me. She's like, you are dumb. Like, only like a wife can say. She's just like, what is wrong with you? I'm gonna go watch TV. Like, my thumb, my middle finger from punching swells up worse than my hand. So the injury from the hand was actually not as bad as injury from reacting. And what I want to encourage you is, listen to me, I'm not talking about frying your hand. I'm talking about decisions you make. Listen to me. I spent, again, I spent so much time in trouble because of poor decision making and reacting. And a lot of us make our decisions based on reacting and not thinking. And what I want to encourage you is you have a brain. Every one of you has a brain. Kind of goes back to stop making excuses, start making changes, but listen to me. Quit reacting. Quit reacting to the things around you. Quit reacting to when somebody offers you an opportunity to do something stupid. Don't react. Pause and think. Don't react. Man, think. Stop reacting and start thinking. Be encouraged, every single one of you. Man, when you stop just reacting to the world around you, start thinking. Man, you're going to see your decision making go up by 100%. Hey, the last one, we finish up. Is this helpful? Is this okay for you guys? The last one we finish up is this. This is huge. Stop being selfish and start being selfless. Stop being selfish and start being selfless. You know, I, I said it earlier with social media and selfies and blah, 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 blah. Our society trains us to be selfish. If you think about it, all, all social media, it's, yeah, it's supposed to be this, like, us connecting with people, but it's become us just posting pictures of ourselves that we think are hot. Like, let, let's just be raw here. It's like, you posted that because you're like, I look kind of good in that light. That's why I posted it. You would never tell anybody that. That's not what you put in your caption, but can we be real here? Like, you don't post pictures because you're like, oh, that looks really bad. I want to show the whole world. No, nobody does that. And so our society kind of trains us to think about us. And me, and me, and me, and me. And what I want to encourage you, if you want to win in life, stop being selfish and start being selfless. I've told some of you before, but I went to a village one time in the middle of India. It was, it was out in the middle of nowhere. And this is where my life was changed. I went to a village that, on average, these families would have ten children. And only five would survive due to drinking water, because they didn't have adequate drinking water. I'm a dad, and thinking of losing a child to anything is horrible, but the thought of just because they didn't have the right drinking water. At any given time, any of you could get up and go get as much drinking water as you want right now. You don't even think about that. It made me realize how, how easy I have it. Even in the hardest times of my life, man, I have it easy. And what I want to encourage us is let's stop just thinking about us and start thinking about other people. So you don't have to go to India to help someone. There are people that sit at your lunch table or that table that you don't sit at that come in here every single day in this room right now as I speak. There are people sitting in chairs that hate themselves, that don't think they matter, and don't value their lives. And then there are people in this room that if just one of you would just talk to that person and just say hi and just smile and not make them feel like they're worthless. You have no idea what people go through at home. You could change their life forever. That could be a game changer. At Central Middle School, if we would stop being selfish and just start being selfless and saying, look, I'm going to not care about what I need for just a second and think about how I can help somebody else. Man, you would see that you would start to win a life. I, all I want to do as an adult is encourage young people that, man, there's always something better. That you can win, that your life does matter, and that you do have value. Man, I, I try to come up here as often as I can at lunches. If any of you ever need encouragement, if any of you ever need to talk, somebody just listen to you. 
I'd be happy to talk to you. Guys, thanks so much for letting me come out and share with you. Hope you guys have a great day. Let's give Sam another round of applause. That was awesome. Very hard time. Thank you so much.